Okay, so this is quite a tricky question because it mixes fractions and ratios together, but we've got to be comfortable with that. So I'd first of all, just show the information so that I can get my head around it. So we've got Denver, who as a fraction has 3 19ths of the food. And so that leaves how much? Well, we've got a calculator, so we could just do one takeaway 3 over 19 on the calculator, but we know that that's going to be 16 over 19. So we can kind of ignore Denver now because we used Denver's amount or fraction of the food to work out Engels and Fido's combined. So that's how much food they'll get, but they're sharing it in the ratio of 5 to 2. So in total, the amount of parts they have is 5 plus 2, which is 7. So there's 7 parts all together. Okay. And each part, so one part, is going to be worth, well, as a fraction, it's 16 over 19, divided by 7. So 16 over 19 on the calculator, divided by 7, which gives us 16 over 133. So that's the fraction of each part. Now it says, um, show uh, what is Fido's share. So we're looking for Fido's share. Now, Fido gets two lots of that. So looking for Fido, he gets two lots of that fraction. So I'm going to times that by 2 on the calculator, which is 32 over 133. Now it does say show your answer as a percentage rounded to the nearest percent. So to work um, between uh, fractions and, and uh, percentages, I just need to times by 100. So what I can do is just times that by 100. I'll do it on calculator, times by 100. And press S to D if it comes up as a fraction. And it says 24.060 blah blah blah. So to the nearest percent, um, Fido gets 24%.